So, um, so this is probably going to be a very, very special episode. Um, as you can see what we have right in front of us, we have the weapon known as the squeezer to, or the foil squeezer, should I say, to play with. Hello everyone, it is me, Jer Gaming here, and welcome to some more Splatoon 2. And, um, okay, so, this is, without a doubt, the most untouched weapon for me. I had, this is literally the last weapon on my last page, if everyone was curious. Along with, you know, a bunch of these other weapons, I couldn't have the time to, you know, think of something, think of a reason to play with. But of all the weapons, this is the only weapon in the game that doesn't even have 200 points inked. Like, look at that. I don't even remember what happened. Maybe that's why I dropped this weapon. But you know what? I know what this weapon is capable of. And a lot of people are saying that, like, well, I, well actually, no, hardly anyone. They're talking about how this weapon could be possibly pretty good. So I was just like, you know what? If this fails on me, then, you know, I'm dropping the weapon forever. <laughs> I mean, heck, I played the weapon clearly once and just dropped it for the next however long it's been out. And, yeah. Now, for my gear set, I don't really know what to run with, but from looking up on the Inkopedia, it seems like that if you run two mains of main power-up, you get your max damage. So as you can see here, 44.2, but as this, a perfect three, yeah, just a, just a perfect amount of that. So hopefully with running with all of that, I might be able to do well. I'm, I don't guarantee it. I mean, I do have Bubble Blower. Rainmaker is the, you know, the map in rotation, but Bubble Blower might help out. And even though I only have three subs of special power up, it might, it might do something it might but without further ado let's get into it all right 2070 not that bad i guess we can live with that for now but, um, I I don't know what to do with this weapon. And now that I finally picked it up, now I'm instantly regretting my decision in even making this video. But you know what? I'm gonna do whatever I can. Do good with this weapon. That's the goal of today's video. It's just to figure out how to do good with this weapon. That's all I want to do. Just figure it out. Just figure it out. I feel like it, I feel like it might be easier than, you know, I think. Just, just maybe. Just maybe. But I don't guarantee it. I mean, especially since that happened right there. But I don't think popping the Rainmaker shield is my goal. I think it's about getting them. But I'm, again, I'm like not 100% for sure what I want to do. Since that can happen as well. I mean, you could just play with a 96 and just hold the trigger. And then peacefully aim, relax. And then, you know, get him. Could just do that instead of playing with this weapon. It's, in my opinion, pretty awful weapon. I mean, I understand what it has that the Spire Shop Pro doesn't have. Like, it has the ability to paint. Like, but... Problem is... I don't really care about the fact that it has the ability to paint. I care about the fact that this weapon is incredibly difficult to use. Alright, this is... This is the part where we start questioning life, as we know it, right here, right here and right now. Okay. Oh, that's a ball point. I don't know why, but I thought that was a Nautilus. Like, I, I, I looked at it, like, multiple times, thinking, that's a Nautilus, but no. I don't know why I thought that was a Nautilus. What the heck is wrong with me? Is it just that late? Is it really just that late that I thought that it was straight up the Nautilus? Oh, that was such a good kill, and then I died. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, that was such a really cool, slick kill until I dropped into the abyss. Killed myself. 
Okay, but maybe this weapon ain't that hard to play. I thought it was gonna be like ridiculously, like stupid. Like I, I, I honestly thought I was gonna do absolutely horrible with this weapon. That I was gonna get exactly one splat per game. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm doing a lot better than I thought. My problem is I just don't know what I should be doing right now. I mean, this is kind of working, right? Kind of, maybe. Oh my goodness, there's the roller. I'm heading for the left, although I want to go on the right so I can get into some flanking here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, okay, that works. <laughs> uh, goodness me, I keep saying God a lot. I mean, heck, my excuse for it is, hey, maybe when you say God, God will be like, yo, I got you fam, I'll help you out. I don't know why, I always make that joke a lot when I say, uh, just, like, I don't, I'm just gonna shut up, I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. I'm pretty sure what I'm saying, talking about is irrelevant, I mean it's so irrelevant that the roller just killed me. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the part where I need Object Shredder. Actually, okay, hold up. Oh my goodness, that could have gone in so many different ways. Maybe I don't need Object Shredder since I have main power up, and I'm basically doing damage to the bubbles. Maybe, maybe, I probably do because, you know, to, I... oh hey look, 11, that's actually not too bad. Because, again, I expected to do much, much worse with the uh, squeezer. But you know what? I, I did A-alright. Just, just A-alright. Same power level, what the heck? I just look up and it's the same power level as I'm scrolling through my Instagram. DMs. And when I say Instagram DMs, I mean like, w when you get a lot of people that text you, it's like, wow. Yeah, that's what it's like. Ooh, okay, okay. I want to slay. Because I actually want to mostly just practice figuring out this weapon. Oh, hold up, mate. Hold up. Little doggo over there. Check my teammate. Okay, yay. Oh, there is a Kansas Slosher machine. Okay. Come on. Shoot me in the face. Okay, no. She sloshed me in the face. Okay, so surprisingly, this weapon ain't too bad. Like, I, I again, I'm gonna say it again. I was honestly expecting to go into this doing like ridiculously horrible, like, I was incapable of doing absolutely nothing. Surprisingly, I, again, surprisingly, I'm doing all right. And I'm gonna keep saying that until I lose a game. Or when I die. Okay. I don't know why I'm making exactly zero comments about the fact that they just took the lead. Well, genuinely, after playing a lot of Splat Zones, and I guess some clan as well, I think I've figured out, I think I've kind of built a mentality of what should I, of how I should be playing Splatoon 2. I feel like, over time, I feel like the best way to play Splatoon 2 is to play patiently. And what I mean by that is like, just, if, what, like, when you lose leads, just stay calm about that and just think, okay, they took the lead, but we'll get it back soon, right? The answer is yes and no. Like, okay, we'll get it back half the... Okay, like, I know we're not going to get back the lead right away, but my mentality is, okay, they took the lead by, like, four points, but that doesn't mean that we can't do the same. Because we took the lead relatively... Well, we... First, we had that 56 remaining points lead relatively pretty easily, so who says that we can't just, you know, do the same thing back to them? Or better yet, just do it. Well, that is if I can actually, you know, aim with this weapon. But I'm pretty sure we can do it. Again, you just don't want to be all, you know, rushing in when the enemy team takes a lead. I mean, that's kind of the 
mentality I've kind of built through, or what I, how I think I should start playing the game a bit more when playing Splatoon 2 now. I mean, I, I, again, I could be wrong, but that's what I think. I think the best way is just to play a bit more patiently. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Because, you know, since we lost the lead, I, the, the goal right now is to actually kill them. Because they have the map control. They have the teammates right now. However, I have the squeezer. That's surprisingly doing a lot more work. Then it probably should. This guy has drop roller apparently. Okay, never mind. We didn't take the lead. <laughs> but you know what? It's a. G it's just another game. Games like this are gonna happen. What? in the world. Hold up. I... I am... Wait. What? So you're telling me that in that one game I had not only the most effort put in but I had the most splats in the whole lobby with a weapon that I don't like. Or I used to have not liked, let's just say. Like, I kid you not, this was undoubtedly my least favorite weapon in the whole game. And now I'm actually doing pretty- and now you're telling me I have the most splat- Is it- okay, I actually don't know how. I, I, I don't know how. I, either it's because, A, this weapon is like a Splatter Shot Pro, but with extra range, except it's just a bit more wonky, or B, the gear building I'm running might actually be working a bit since this thing doesn't consume too much ink and having two mains and main power up almost gets it to a three shot kill when you do the uh, partial charge. I don't know. I feel like everything I do it, I'm doing should just not work at all. Like every, every single thing. Like not just that moment right there, but literally everything. I guess the game says otherwise. Or should I say this weapon? Or we can just lose a game like that. Moving on. Wow, the I'm getting like non-high power level battles. Like, I mean, I guess that's great, but like, I don't know. Just, just. okay, booyah. Okay, my two subs of ink resistance up is not playing here. Where are they? So there's a touch really down here. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, oh my god! Thank you god for helping me. <laughs> Hold up, my... Okay, this man, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was just about to say, this man knows I'm here, but like, kind of just died on me. So never mind. I guess we can say he doesn't. Oh, just as I run out of ink. I'm expecting to get harassed right here. Come on. Come on, mate. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the three-shot kill. If I can back off, back off, back off! Okay. <laughs> that works, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh. Huh. 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 See you later. Going around in circles. Ha-ha! At least this weapon I can actually stay back. That's what I do like. It feels like playing with the Splatter Shot Pro, except just feels different. Kind of in a good way, actually, surprisingly. Oh, that bubble is just flying off in the distance. All right, well, there we go. Most effort put in again. That's three games in a row with the most effort. That's great. That's wonderful. 
Well, anyways, guys, that's going to be the video for the day. I don't want this to be too long because I want to get a bit better at frequently posting some things and actually be motivated too. But, um, I guess I could share my thoughts on the uh, foil squeezer or the squeezer in general. So, I guess this weapon feels like the Splattershot Pro, but different. You just have to work with the fact that you have to do the little tap shot every single time instead of just, um, you know, with the Splatter Shot Pro, you can just hold its fire and then you can, you know, do some stuff. It's also not like, you know, the, it's, okay, okay. Regular Squeezer has like, you know, Splash Wall Stingray. None of the Splatter Shot Pros have that. Custom Jet Sculpture does have that. And I also play with that weapon, um, a lot. I want well, it's one of my top 10 most inked weapons in the whole game, for me at least. And, um, I don't know. The, the squeezer in general just feels like a different, a different version of the Spire Shot Pro. Like, it feels like it has the same range, the same... Okay, maybe it could just be the fact that I have main power-up that it's allowing me to do three-shot kills with the, uh, you know, turf mode. But... Something about this weapon feels like the tap shoot. The tap shot feels like a slightly more efficient Spider Shot Pro. And what I mean by that is, um, back in the days before main power up was a thing, everyone was talking about, hey, you know, what would be a good buff to the Spider Shot Pro to make it balanced was if they gave it extra range. And admittedly, yeah, that was the thing it really needed because this thing. Even though it had a good enough range to outrange the majority of the weapons in the game that a lot of people use, problem was was the fall off damage, or the or the fact that this weapon didn't have as much range as we would all want it to have. So instead, they give that extra range to the 96, and they had the Spire Shot Pro just be a slightly faster, or just have slightly faster buffs. And then eventually, when they introduced main power up, a few, like three months later. Uh, or I think two to three months, everyone figured out, hey, if you have Spire Shot Pro main power, you kind of just kill everyone. And yeah, then everyone kind of just discovered that. But, and then, you know, now we're in this whole thing where, like, the Kansas Spire Shot Pro is the most broken weapon in the game if you have, like, three mains and four subs of main power up. But, okay, again, this weapon is overall surprisingly not that bad. Again, I was expecting to go into this, like, oh, yeah, this is, like, the worst for me like this is so much worse than playing with the charger playing with the, the I, like just you know playing with the freaking uh just charger or playing with the 10 umbrella i thought it was gonna be worse than that but no surprisingly it feels like a splatter shot pro but just a bit different and by a bit different like okay if you work around its kinks it will give you that reward which you know it has like sl just oh so slightly more range than the Splatter Shot Pro, but yeah, I actually might play with this weapon more often after that, at least for you know Rainmaker since you know I actually started playing Rainmaker in August for that. But you know what, whatever. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, this short little video. If you did, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you would like some more of whatever this is. And I guess I'll see you guys whatever we do next. Take care and God bless you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful day.